the feasibility of the city taking over and operating the Ontario Science Centre is very low, according to a new report that was brought forth here at City Hall today. But some here say the fight isn't yet over. The city just does not have the financial might to fix the Science Centre and or pay for the operation of it. In another attempt to see what can be done to save the beloved educational hub and tourist attraction, there are too many roadblocks for the city to take over outright. The province signed a 99-year lease with the city and the Toronto Region Conservation Authority who owned the land in 1965. Now the blurry line over who has rights to do what. Maybe the provincial government wants us to assist them in figuring out what to do with the building because the building is on ultimately city of Toronto land. They can't just walk away and just leave the building that are, you know, structurally problematic. We don't have money to fix it. Under conditions of the lease, the city could end the agreement and leave the province on the hook for costs for demolition if the building is truly no longer fit for use. That's a question that continues to be raised after the province shut down the centre due to structural issues last month. We want to be working at the table to work on what needs to be done to fix the roof, to make sure that the buildings are maintained well, so that it's there to serve both the local community in Flemington Park, Thorncliffe Park, Don Mills, that Councillor Burnside represents so well, but also the entire city. As part of the new deal struck last fall between Mayor Chow and Premier Ford, the province did agree to further discuss maintaining some science programming on site after the new Ontario place opened. The mayor stopped short of talking about a lawsuit when asked on Tuesday. I always believe in negotiation rather than forcing people to court. The province has started the process of looking for a temporary home for the Science Centre, but an interim location isn't expected to be open until 2026. Mark McAllister, City News.